Welcome to General Biology. Today's video is on sexual reproduction. A lot of species can reproduce asexually. They do this in various ways. Um, bacteria do it through binary fission. Uh, protists will do it through mitosis. Some organisms will do something called parthenogenesis, which is where a organism develops from an unfertilized egg. So when we're doing this process, um, basically all you're doing is growing a new organism from the original. We're, we're creating clones. So they're identical to the parent. The downside to creating clones is there's no variation. And without variation, it makes it very difficult to adapt. So one of the advantages we're gonna see with sexual reproduction is we can create a huge amount of variation that helps organisms adapt to their environment. But we do see asexual reproduction in things like um, yeast and amoebas and paramecium's and hydras do it through budding. Um, even some complicated organisms like uh, desert whiptail lizards will use parthenogenesis to produce offspring. So they're all females and it's just generation after generation after generation of females. But sexual reproduction is going to produce variety. And like we see with the desert whiptail lizards, there's not much variety in that species, which is fine if your environment hardly ever changes. But if you have to adapt to changes and new predators and new conditions in your environment, it's difficult if you don't have much variation in your species. So every organism is going to have homologous chromosomes and every sexually reproducing organism. And these homologous chromosomes are going to be the key to um, creating some variation in species. If I'm a female, I will have uh, 22 autosomes and two X chromosomes. And if I'm a male, I'm going to have 22 autosomes and an X and a Y chromosome. And my goal in sexual reproduction is going to be to reduce the number of these chromosomes in my sex cells and mix up the chromosomes and mix up the genes on the chromosomes. And if I do all those things, I can create a large amount of variety in my gametes. So number one priority though, is we have to reduce the number of chromosomes because if we don't, when fertilization takes place, every generation, the number will just keep doubling and doubling and doubling. In the next video, we're gonna talk about how we reduce that number.